everyone, welcome to our Isle of Wight vlog. I'm so excited. We have grown up and lived in Bournemouth our whole lives and been to the Isle of Wight before, but I've never properly stayed and done a staycation. And with it being so close, literally on our doorstep, there's so many beautiful places on the Isle of Wight we are yet to explore. So when the lovely people at Ho Seasons got in touch and asked if we wanted to stay in any of their accommodations, we picked out the Isle of Wight because it's somewhere we wanted to go for a while. So quick disclaimer, we are working in partnership with them to produce some content on social media and a review on my blog, so I'll leave that link below. I haven't been asked to make this vlog, but I am doing it because a lot of you asked and you wanted to see it and it made sense to vlog it. So I haven't been asked to, but I'm gonna declare this as an ad because it's all been gifted to us very kindly and we're very excited. So it's we nice, are, it's sorry. Nice, it's nice for us to look back on as well. We always enjoy rewatching our vlogs when we are on holiday and trips we do we? yeah this is benji for any of you that don't know benji this is the boyfriend watching the cricket while i'm packing yeah we've got an ikea bag here with some snacks coats yeah. um we've got some prosecco that we're going to enjoy tonight so ho seasons are the uk's leading self-catering accommodation specialists we are staying in woodside bay lodge retreat which is near cows on the isle of wight and it is absolutely beautiful we're staying in a tree house it's got a hot tub it's so quirky and luxury it's part of their tailor-made collection so i'll leave a link below to them if you're interested and my review so you can get more of a better in-depth review of what it's like to stay there but we are going to be vlogging it all so let's go we're going to go to Limington and get the ferry tonight it's about 45 Five minutes, minutes. Yeah. yeah and then the ferry will take half hour longer maybe and then we'll drive from Yarmouth over towards Cow's Ride area where the lodge is you ready? Yeah, I've deliberately not looked at the pictures of the place because I want to like, experience it all for the first time when I get there. You're going to absolutely love it. We love doing these little weekends away. We've done all sorts of different places, but Isle of Wight is one we haven't done yet. So I've, stayed, I've been on holiday in high seasons a few times. Have you? They're so great. It was, well, a lot when I was younger. So grateful when you got kids and... I think you can places. bring your pets. They have over 100,000 yeah. pets a year. So if you don't know them already, definitely check them out. It's the kind of place we'd go to if we were hosting like six or ten or eight guests or something. We could all go. Yeah. yeah, it's really great. And there's loads of different options. But obviously, we're doing a little romantic staycation. So we've got a cute little hot tub and it's just us. So I'm going to definitely need you to carry that. That's heavy. Just the two of us. I'm excited. Let's go. We just arrived in Limington and we're getting the White Link Ferry over to Yarmouth and then we'll be driving from Yarmouth to our accommodation. But it was very easy. Um, we booked it a while ago and we've got a 7.15 crossing. Okay, we're a bit early so we're just gonna pop inside. It is raining a little bit right now but it's not meant to for the rest of the weekend. You can go as a foot passenger as well. So we've got a bit of time to kill so I've just picked up the White Life white link ferry free magazine i'm just going through and just seeing if there's anything that takes our fancy oh i want to go here shanklin chine oh celebrated its 200th anniversary in 2017 the island's oldest established tourist attraction oh wow sand down pier as well and do this this is the, the i played this like the lost world adventure like 10 girl. years ago I want to do that it's one. so good that i still remember it really just in case you're unfamiliar with the isle of wight this is Lemington. We yeah, live like just over, over further here. down here. <laughs> um, I grew up in Christchurch, like down here. But yeah, we're not far basically. So I could see the Isle of Wight from my house growing up, which is crazy. But we're actually staying over here. And then we're gonna be going down to Sandown and Shanklin down here. Look at this old photo of the ferry crossing of the old cars. I love that. And then here are all the cars outside. We're in row one on the far left. And then we'll drive down onto the ferry. I didn't realise that the train actually comes right here, but we're going now. We're on the way, we're on oh, the way. I'm so excited. I actually am trying to multitask because I'm also taking photos, so bear with me. We're oh, flying! This is very strange. We are actually going up. This is so exciting. We've not done this before. I have, I worked in the Isle of Wight. I did Isle of Wight Hostel, Hostel, Hostel twice, and so this was like a 
regular occurrence. Oh, you're going regular. very dark now because no, we're no. going up. Night, night. Wow, how weird. Well, this is nice. We get to sit up here. Look at the world go by. Like not. this. that would take you to cows which is obviously a lot closer but for us it made more sense because we live down here here so yeah sort of show you we've got to do a 40 minute drive across the island can't wait we're nearly here so we're gonna go back to the car look at that sunset oh I'm stopping the music I know it's pitch black, but this is it. Woodside Bay. Together we made it. We're here. It's really cute. They've had like warning squirrels and everywhere. Yeah. We've just gone past a place that I went to as well. I've been to when I was a kid and it just threw me back. Okay, yeah, turn in here. Oh, wow. Oh, it's That's lovely. Nice. Okay, so we basically need the reception. Okay, so we're gonna go and check in to reception. Okay, Firestone. Obviously we're seeing this in the dark for the first time, but, oh, this is cute. Yeah. Well, it's very secluded, isn't it? Well, you're not too far from everyone else. Oh, we've got a hot tub and everything, I think. Oh, this is oh, so cute. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a pixie house. Oh, God. Oh. oh my goodness, this is adorable. Wow. Oh, we'll have to show it properly in the day. Look, the hot tub is built into the floor. No way. Yeah. Oh, it's really peaceful. Okay, let's go on up. Oh, oh the egg. Oh, there's a little egg chair. Oh, Bench. This is so cute. Oh look, they've put little things on the bed. Oh look, there's a cake and some champagne, look! Oh wow, that's so nice. Oh, there's a note for us. Okay. So, this is it. That's amazing. Wow, look at all the touches. Oh, it's got a proper fire. Wow, look at the bed. This is absolutely oh, stunning. Look at the TV. Oh, wow. Look at this space. And then the bathroom is just around the corner. And then this is the bathroom. Oh, wow. This is very lush. It smells nice. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Wow. We are truly spoiled, babe. Like everything in here, I'd like want for our future house. Yeah, it's very much our aesthetic, isn't it? I love that. Oh, we love this. We don't like yeah. blocks, but very similar to what we like, isn't like it? I like that they've got all the instructions and everything you'd need. We've been given a little card, so we're going to open it up. To Brogan, welcome to Woodside Bay Lodge Retreat. We hope you enjoy your stay from all the team at Woodside. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Pop the card up. Let's put it somewhere nice. Pop it up there, that's it. Got some water, that's very kind of them. We've got the telly on and we're just making ourselves a little bit of a snack. And they've actually thought of everything. There's even like a jug, different types of glasses. There's a teapot. I'm just boiling the kettle and there's a toaster. There's even a dishwasher. So if you didn't even want to wash up, um, all the little bits. And then there's a, hang on, sorry babe. There's actually a fridge in here as well, and they've even put some things in there and some milk. Um, so you've got everything you need. Oh yeah, 
bit of toast. Oh, that's not quite toasty enough. A bit more. I absolutely love that you can't hear anyone. So unlike in a hotel room where you can hear upstairs, downstairs, left and right, it's pure silence. And it's, it's very nice. We, I, was sat so on the, nice. Um, I was sat in the oak chair outside earlier and it was like dead quiet and all I could hear was the waves washing up against the beach. We must be really close to the yeah. sea. Can't wait to see it in the daylight tomorrow. But we're going to go to bed now. So we'll see you tomorrow and we'll show you a bit more um, of the outside area and we're going to get in the hot tub in the morning and then we're going to be heading off to Sandown and Shanklin. Yes? Yes. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning from paradise. It is so bliss down here. We're going to show you. Here's our hot tub. We've got the camera set up because we need to take an Instagram. So this is the outside area. Isn't it beautiful? So nice. The sea is Yeah. There's the sea. You can hear it crashing. And the birds are so quiet. It is nice. It feels like we're in the woods. Well, we are in the woods. Completely in the woods. It's lovely. I love it. Yay. You're living your best life. Living my best life. Just <laughs> editing. Cup of tea. Hot tub. It's what Saturday mornings are for. I'm so happy. <laughs> Look at that. Should we go down to the waterfront in a sec? Definitely, yeah. So here's the outside. This is the path we came down last night. We've all locked up and we're going down here to go and see the sea. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, a little park down there. And benches for you to have lunch. Oh, that's Portsmouth over there. What a beautiful way to start the day. A woodland walk. Oh, that's so sweet. There's a little play area. Oh, I love this. So there are a few of these tree houses that are exactly the same as ours and then there's some that look like this which you can all see have a lot more people in here we go this is what the other ones look like hopefully you can see this a bit better I'm trying to be a bit quiet because some people might be asleep still it's like half nine we've arrived in Sandown. this is our first stop on our isle of white adventure i look like a proper tourist because i've got my <laughs> cameras <laughs> i've also got a rucksack i need one of them little flags <laughs> yes please like a little yeah. guy. Um, it's a lovely day, we're very blessed. The sun is out, it's about quarter past ten. We haven't had any breakfast yet. We need first breakfast. We do. We did bring a couple of bits with us. I've got some cereal and some milk in the fridge um, because obviously you can, you know, stay there for the whole weekend if you wanted. You could just bring picnics, couldn't you? Just stay yeah, in that treehouse. They got an oven and a hob and a microwave and toaster. Yeah. Everything you need, really. Yeah. I'm not sure if they have an oven though, do no. they? No. Well, they just have a hob. Got a hob. Hob, a microwave. You could cook pasta. I wonder Easy. if there's a barbecue that's available. Uh, someone asked us earlier, didn't they? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Oh, it's nice and quiet. So we're going to go down to Sandown Pier. It's, You've been down here before. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be one of, the, one of the days that we're constantly taking off our jumpers and putting them back on. Then... I'm glad that I only wore a t-shirt and not a um, jumper today, actually. Um, but yeah, I've not been to Sandown before, so we're going to go down to the pier. So here we are. So peaceful, isn't it? It's really nice. Look at the pier. It's a bit like Bournemouth. <laughs> the sand is gorgeous. Let's cross over. This is so nice. Sand down pier, a whole day's fun in one. Oh, wow. That is absolutely beautiful. I can't believe this is just right on our doorstep. You know what I mean? It was not far to get here for us. I could stay here all day. It's so peaceful. Oh, I love it. Love it. Right, we're moving on. We've got a lot to do today. <laughs> I want to show you how nice the beach was though. So we're gonna go in here where all the amusements are. So they've got an indoor mini golf over here. We're just gonna go and have a look and see if it's something we want to do because there's one in Shanklin that I would like to do that's outside it's quite quiet isn't it what's it look like looks like a good one well this is a bit fun going up and down oh this is really cute it's very weird we're on different levels I see what you did you hit it again that mm. wall oh that didn't work out for me did it Right, I got a straight shot there then. I do like when we have a, an empty 
Disney mini golf course. Although it's fake thundering. <laughs> Do you want to go first on this one? The theming is fun in here. This is so fun. <laughs> That's me, is it? Damn it. Italian. So the scores are in. I got 28 and you got 27. You beat me by one. Lucky oh. Well played. That was well played. Come at the king, but <laughs> this is called the Lost World Adventure Golf. This is amazing. There's so many games. Okay. Gamble responsibly. I got, I got this today. I did. I did too. So we finished at the arcade. We did get recommended this little dessert shop, but obviously I <laughs> don't really need a dessert yet. Look at this weather, we're so lucky. Love it. Well, this is a bit nice. Kind of looks like Cornwall, doesn't it? Yeah. I think as it says surf school and there's people surfing out there. Sweet. Okay, so we've walked along the seafront and we're at Sand Ham Gardens. Oh, there's another the mini golf course. We've been recommended this restaurant. I think it's called the Bandstand. How was the Isle of Wight? Not sure, but a crazy golf course from the <laughs> We did them all. <laughs> so this is the view from the restaurant. It's absolutely beautiful. And we're stopping here for a bit of brunch. So we're gonna get some Eggs Benedict um, for both of us. And that'll keep us going for a little bit. Yeah. That's my favorite brunch. Is it? Yay, and it's a perfect little setting, isn't it? It is not Feels like we're on holiday, truly. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like we've gone abroad, like, love it. The nice thing about coming in September is that it's a bit quieter because obviously all the kids have gone back to school. So everywhere's just really, really quiet and lovely. Um, and we're very lucky with this weather. So nice. But even if it was raining, I still think it would be so beautiful. I'd love to come back. Breakfast is served. And eggs Benedict is my go-to. As long as the eggs are good, you just can't, can't go wrong. Too. Here it is. Perfect little brunch. Love it. So lunch was delicious. Well, brunch. That was so nice. A little bit of brunch. Very, very nice. Very good value for money as well. Yeah, so it was £17. For three drinks and a breakfast each. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was such a nice view as well. Really nice. And the, just the atmosphere in there was lovely. So They had some acoustic covers on, which was like my favourite. They did. They did. It did. Um, so we're going to walk down to our final stop here in Sandown, which is a little shop called Terry's... Gifts and treats, I think it's called. Hang on, what does Steph say? So basically, my lovely friend Steph, her mum owns the shop, and she just messaged me like, "Pop in if you are around there." So we are. So we're going to pop in. Have a little nose. Yeah, and then we're going to be heading down to Shanklin, which is our next stop. Oh, there's a butterfly. So this is the little shop that our friend Steph's mum owns. Terry's gifts and cake supplies. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh. There's loads of lovely bits and bobs in here. It's the kind of shop you could spend ages in. Oh, it's lovely. Look at the Disney baby bits. That's so cute. So we've arrived in Shanklin now and we're going to go to the Chime. Chime? Mm -hmm. Chime, not Chime. Chime with an N. And there's a Christmas shop I want to go to. But this is really quaint down here. It's so, so cute. Let me show you. Oh, there's, is that the Christmas shop? I think it is. Look. Jingle bells. Oh, we have to go in. Santa stops here, of course he does. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, I just want to take loads of pictures. <laughs> they sell the garlic farm stuff. This is what we're gonna see later. If we go later. We've just been in the rock shop, which is a sweet shop. We picked up some chocolate and some fudge. Look, this garlic farm stuff is everywhere, obviously. That was such a nice little shop. I loved it in there. I'm really excited to garlic farm. Me too. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love bomb cosmetics. Look. 
so we're gonna go for a little cream tea even though we only ate an hour ago but <laughs> this is this is what we do don't we <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, why not? This is so sweet. Old Thatch Tea Shop is a winner of the best tea rooms and tea gardens on the Isle of Wight. Oh, this is adorable. Oh wow, okay, this is very cute. Look at this little shop. This is so cute. Up above their bench it says, make tea, not war. <laughs> There's loads of little butterflies over there. This was about 16.90. 16.90? That's a lot older than me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, second brunch of the day. <laughs> How are you going to do yours, bud? Um, you do cream and then jam. Correct. <laughs> I did it two different ways, that's not what you Same. They're warm as well. Ooh. So that was very lovely. That was nice, wasn't it? And we also were recommended this restaurant called The Crab if you wanted a pub lunch. Oh, we're going in another little shop. You're right, babe. You zoned out. <laughs> the water. So I think it's like five pound each, I think. Well, this is beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Do you need barley and you've got shank and chai? <laughs> Okay, so it's quite steep, it's a bit of walking, but it's absolutely beautiful, it's so peaceful and lovely. Oh, look at him up there. So apparently this is better to come at night because they've got loads of lights all in the trees and from the photos I've seen it looks absolutely stunning. But we plan to go back tonight so that we can hang out in the hot tub and get dinner back at the lodge. So we're here in the day, but it's still absolutely beautiful. You just hear the birds singing, can't you? It's lovely. Just, it's nice to be out and do a, you know, walk off our cream teas. Make room for fish and chips. Then she wants fish and chips and we've got dinner later. It's like you, every holiday we go, we need a little checklist. That's what she wants like this in like Do uh, Cornwall and Devon. Yeah, we like Cream teas. <laughs> If you're down there, you'll have a pasty, fish and chips, yeah. salt, afternoon tea. Afternoon cream tea. I could only eat one and a half of mine though. Okay. Had to leave some. That's meant I had more cream and jam for mine. It's true, he did get the rest of mine. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh! Maybe I should just stick to walking. You okay? <laughs> Look at this, it's so cute. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, it's so lovely. We're gonna actually exit that way down front of the beach now and do our second round of mini golf. They've got loads of different things for kids and families, like little bumper cars and little roller coaster, all that kind of stuff. This is called Pirate's Cove Fun Park, but we're gonna go to the mini golf down there. Okay, so this is the course we're doing. This is so neat. I love this. Whoa. Oh, got it. No. Whoa. Oh. Nope. 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 I can't believe I just missed it, but I just got a hole in one on the last one. He's being a bit bitter about it. <laughs> Did you not get it in? Oh dear. <laughs> There's three holes, they obviously come out of here. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good. Short bench. Short bench. <laughs> well done. You needed that, didn't you? <laughs> I got that on camera too. All right, let me finish up. Go on and tell us what's the scores. After 18 tough holes, both of us having shockers. We drew? No, we really drew. Don't lie. 
I had a shocker oh. in the middle here, five. And a seven, seven. Oh, I had a nine. But then I got a hole in one. Oh, I had a ten down there. And then you had a ten there. I had a hole in one as well. That's what I said, that, la that last long putt was like such a... Shock. Yeah, that was fun though, wasn't it? <laughs> I really enjoyed that. It's now five to three. We're thinking of going to get an ice cream because we saw a couple of really nice ice cream shops along the front. And then I think we need to get that lift up because our car is parked at the top. We have half an hour anyway left and then we'll be moving to the garlic farm next. Excited. Keen for the garlic farm. Me too. We're getting some ice cream. Benji's gonna go for white chocolate. I can't decide between my favourite rum and raisin or mint chocolate chip. So this was the little ice cream shop we stopped at. You've got white chocolate and... Honeycomb. Oh, and I've got a classic mint chocolate chip. I wanted a hokey pokey like in New Zealand, in New Zealand. Is that honeycomb? Yeah. Alright, we're back at the car park. That was a little walk. Ice cream water on my face. Puffin. <laughs> um, we're back at the car though, so we're going to move now to the garlic farm. Nice. Yay! And then we're probably going to wrap up the day, to be honest. We arrived at the garlic farm. It was about 15 minutes from Shanklin. So we have a restaurant and a shop and a farm walk, free parking. So let's go on inside. It says stop and smell the garlic, that's all you have to do. Oh, they have ice cream here. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Okay, so walk and tour, taste experience, education centre, a shop, a restaurant, and a cafe. So they've got loads of cute things, and then they have a whole tasting. <gasps> Apple, fig, and garlic chutney. Wow. workshops where you can make your own garlic bread. We missed it unfortunately but that's lovely. Look <laughs> at the cows. Do you want to walk through here and see the garlic being grown? You want to look at the massive cows? You like their fall? They actually don't give a toss. <laughs> just living their best lives, aren't they? We both just said we didn't know what garlic looked like when it was grown. I didn't know it looked like this. You just eat the bowl, I suppose. Wow, how clever. It just looks like weeds. It does, doesn't it? it look, and it looks like a little like. Dandelions, we've also been um, shopping. Yeah, we've bought, we bought the shop. Good. Oh, this is so lovely. I don't know if you can see, but there's some people like playing games over there, and there's like little bits of a park and some chickens. Families have lived here for over 6,000 years. Mm. Wow. Nice we've grown garlic here for 50 years. We've got a lovely restaurant, and this is the main gift shop. Wow, <laughs> have you ever seen so much garlic? <laughs> Oh wow. I'm so happy. <laughs> wow, this is so nice. Oh, that's what we've got in our lodge. Oh yeah. Grow our own garlic. When we get our own house one day, we're going to need a big old garden for everything that you want to grow. Oh, and these nice cards. I want chickens. Of course you do. Here we are. Love it. That's what it looks like in the daytime because we couldn't show this last night. The grounds are really nice, aren't, aren't they? they? stunning, yeah. Taking so much care of the birds at night. Yeah. It's, it all looks pretty new. Like, you know, some, sometimes the, in some places like this, they all look a bit faded. And yeah, no, it looks really new and lovely. Everything's really nice, clad. And it's really nice. Oh, it's a little weather station. Oh, look how pretty it is. Home sweet home. Listen, just hit the owl and the birds. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Yay. All right, it's five to five. We have got a dinner reservation at the restaurant um, that's up there at half seven. So we've got a couple of hours to chill. You're gonna watch the football, aren't you? Let's go and go. <laughs> and I'm gonna sit out here Probably with my book, because I brought my Kindle with me. 
shut this door. I'm not watching the football, no. No, I'm not. I'm gonna sit and enjoy this. I think that is a great idea. I've already taken my bra off and put my PJs on. So, <laughs> I'm in my comfies. Had the most wonderful day today. Really enjoyed being down by the beach, getting ice cream and a afternoon tea and brunch. We ate a lot today, didn't we? Um, and then the garlic farm was really sweet as well. I enjoyed that and we picked up some goodies, mostly just some gifts for Christmas and a tea towel. We actually already own quite a lot of the um, product line because we bought some at a local summer fair recently, but yeah gorgeous gorgeous products and we got to taste loads and it was really really nice um so yeah i'm tempted to either go in the hot tub and read my book or the egg chair and yeah two and a half hours till dinner we're definitely going to go in it again later though because it's just lush oh my goodness there's a little friend oh we missed it where is he no, he wants to come in oh look how cute he is <laughs> Okay, we're ready for dinner now and I did end up going back in the hot tub. I went to dip my toes in and then I ended up fully getting back in it and I read a chapter of a new book. I've started a new book, it's called 20s Girl. It's a Sophie Kinsella book because I love her. You look nice. Thank you. I've got a maxi dress on. It's a nice evening, isn't it? Ah, oh, let's go. Ready for dinner. Okay, let's go. I don't know what I want. What you guys just missed, just after Brogan stopped recording then, was she just sprinted up the drive, <laughs> screaming. Hey, I didn't scream, I just said, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't just screaming. Because she thought a savage animal was trying to get her, but it wasn't, it was just a, a branch stuck to your dress, wasn't it, honey? It was, yeah. Oh dear. Whoopsie. So we're just leaving the restaurant, and I just sort of show you that they have a bunch of stuff here, including disposable barbecues and snacks and everything you might need. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah. They've even got some. Oh, red squirrel snacks. A pound. Where are they? There's looks like there's none left. But yeah, there we go. Good morning. I have started the day with the hot tub going. Benji's just coming down behind me. And I've got a little speaker on my phone and our towels. And we are gonna get in. It's like eight, is it eight or half eight? Half eight. Half eight. <laughs> oh, this is so lovely. What a nice way to start the day. You living your best life? Yeah. <laughs> what a nice way to start the Do day. We have to, we have to sadly. Why are you lying? <laughs> We've got another squirrel. You just Where? sat there, he's down there on the grass now. Oh, do you think it's the same one from yesterday? It looks about the same size. I think the other one was more red, if I'm being honest. A little, little ginger boy. We are just packing up, so we're leaving our lovely little lodge. Do I want to go? No, What's it's that? been so bliss and... Can't, can't make me. I can't make you go. Oh, I've loved it here. Hasn't it been so nice? We've literally had two squirrels run up here. We're literally that, like... The little squirrels. The we've got two little squirrels on there. It's been so nice. Our dinner was nice last night as well. They had all the kind of classic pub kind of food. Yeah, like British pub food. British pub food kind of style. Um, and then we came back and watched telly. Uh, we watched Britain's Got Talent and just chilled, didn't how many, we? How many times did you cry at Britain's Got Talent? A few. <laughs> so now today, the plan is, sorry, my head's still a bit wet. Um, we are heading to Osborne House. And then we're going to go and get a really nice pub lunch we've that will keep us going. One pub, this one particular pub, but we're going to show you it later. Yeah. Did so. you um, see if we could book? I didn't, no. I'm hoping we can just turn up, if I'm being yeah. honest. Um, hopefully. Got it. Start of Osborne House. We're gonna go and have a little mooch run here today. Oh, the grounds are gorgeous. 
think Queen Victoria had quite good taste. Is this her house? I think it was. Scrap that. We've turned up, we've gone to pay for tickets, and they're £20 each. So £40 to look round a house, basically, and I've, the grounds. I've seen it before. You've been it before, so. Yeah, especially because we've only got a couple of hours before our ferry anyway. Yeah. We wouldn't be able to like walk, because if we had the whole day here, we could walk all around the house, read all the signs, walk all the way down the grounds here. It's gorgeous. For like a but whole day. We've, we've only got a couple of hours, and I just thought it'd be like, I thought Eight like pounds or something. Each, yeah. So did I. Rookie errors. The one time we. We don't. might need to look into getting English heritage site, English heritage cards. Then the one for time me. we don't overplan. <laughs> I know. I didn't we think it'd be that expensive. Out. It's quite pricey. Oh, okay. Right. Plan B then it is. I'm not sure if you can see this, but it is very. Oh dear. Hang on. It is very beautiful inside the grounds are gorgeous as well and by looks like you can take dogs and take dogs around yeah look, it, it does look dogs. very beautiful it would have made some nice pickies but so not instead for 40 of going to see one massive house <laughs> we're gonna go and see lots of little little houses aren't we? <laughs> we're gonna go these are all our recommendations by the way this is google maps um we're gonna go to the model village in god's hill this looks very cute. <laughs> so we're gonna try there I instead. You said, what a village a few months ago, didn't I? Cool. We loved it. Yeah, we did love it. Right, 20 minutes later, we've arrived in God's Hill, and there's not too much here, but there is some gardens, and the car park's pretty full, so it must be fairly popular. Loads of coach groups here, aren't they? Yeah. Um, there's a couple of little shops and tea rooms. Yeah, that kind of thing. Also, I was going to say that other attractions that we had on the list was things like Black Gang Chime we could have gone down to, but it's like the other side of the island. And again, it's perfect for when you've got a whole day somewhere. Yeah, we could we do it like a whole week here, couldn't we? Yeah, because we got we got here late because obviously I was at work on Friday. We've only had a day and a bit. A full day and then we have yeah. quite restricted on what time we had to leave today as well. So. Plus I wanted to like hang out in our lovely lodge. Yeah, very really nice. Um, time last night in the lodge we did and we had a nice chill out chill out morning we did I'm there's loads of places to go on the isle of Wight. yeah loads loads i'll actually leave a couple of links below of um suggestions and recommendations there was a website i used called isle of white guru which was quite good yeah. it's like a blog oh hold on i need to put my sunnies on but we're gonna take you You'd to the quite, you could quite easily come here for a week couldn't you Oh, easily. I didn't think you could, but there is loads to do. There is the Butterfly Museum. There's Robin... Is it Robin Hill? There's a zoo. Isle of Wight Zoo we could have done. There's loads. Anyway. Like getting chimes are good when you've got kids. This is also quite nice to do. Look, you can get a chairlift yeah. around where the needles is. So we're here in God's Hill. Black Gang Chime is down here. Yeah, and we're staying up here, aren't we? Yeah. yeah side bay. And that only took us to like 20 minutes. Yeah, it's not too so far. You can pretty much get anywhere within like half an hour. There's the Isle of Wight Zoo. Where were we? Osborne House. We were up there a minute ago. Yeah, we went from there to there and then down. We're down here and now. We're having lunch here somewhere. Up there, yeah. Right, yeah, Robin Hill. Yeah, I was right. That's an adventure park. Yeah, castle's good. That's another one. Freshwater and Freshwater Bay. I've done this. And the needles, this is lovely around here. And then cows, you've got cows up here. Yeah. Which is nice for shopping. There's loads of stuff to do. We will share. Anyway, we found a little cider barn. This one wants to go in. Oh, they have loads of different flavours of rums and liqueur. Look at that banana rum made here on the Isle of Wight. Look. Okay, here's the model village. This is so cute. Okay, so it was four ninety five for adults. This is uh, more upholstery. <laughs> Can you spot my chums? Oh, Bench, this is so cute. This is Pegas, yes. Oh, this is actually adorable. How cool is that? They've got the model village in the model village <laughs> in the model village. <laughs> In the model village. In the model village. <laughs> it's, it's, going <laughs> it's like Inception. That's so cute. What came first, the model village in the model village or the model village? <laughs> this model village is a scale of one to a hundred, and then that one is a scale of one to a thousand. <laughs> Sweet. Love that. that. Is this sand down then? I presume so. Where we were yesterday, because that's the chime that's, where we that's walked That's the through. old restaurant that we saw. Yeah. And that would have been the water that ran through, yeah. Like a little 
little pond. The attention to detail is amazing. Look at the two little dudes over there. Fruit. Are they fishing? Fishing. Fruit. We just finished doing all of this bit down the bottom. Yeah. We thought, oh, we're nearly finished. And then we come around the corner. Wow. That's so cute. I oh, look, Bob. Look. Johnny Best and Ben Stokes are at the crease. Oh, yeah, of course. And the voice. It's got all the dinosaurs on it. That's so cute. I wonder if it's stopping. Oh, the There's another, another one up one. there, look. Oh, oh, brother, oh, I could watch this all day. Cute. Me too. Look, they found the dinosaur and then the dogs run away in front of the veins. That's so cute. Detail's amazing. Amazing. This was well worth the fiver we paid each. I'm not sure what formation <laughs> It's a streaker. A what? A streaker. What? Oh my god, yeah, on the on the, yeah, the red team. Oh the yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's living his best life. He's so happy. Look at him. <laughs> Here's the chine that we did yesterday, the walk. The and there, the yeah. Look at the waterfall and everything. Oh right? yeah, oh, cool. that's where we were yesterday. So we probably looked around for like half an hour. An hour? <laughs> half an hour, I think we did that in. Oh, was it a bit longer? So cute, so cute. We did so, so many pictures. You enjoyed that? Yeah. What now then? You want to do it again? I remember when it's been in Wimbledon and you get a little like, activity book and you've got to look look for you got to like, find the stuff. What names are the butchers in Shanklin and oh, stuff like that. Oh, really do good. like activities. And they I do see. have a guidebook here for a pound. I presume it's probably some similar. similar. We think... could go to the chocolate shop if you want. <laughs> so we've been recommended to come here, this chocolate island, by a friend that actually lives on the island. Oh, that's like a God. rocky road <laughs> block. That's insane. I like these, there's a little cake pots. Oh, little cool. cake pop. We're finished in God's Hill. I'm actually quite glad that um, uh, Oswald House was uh, Didn't really work expensive. out. Yeah, that was really good. That was worth the drive. So now we're gonna go to Dairy, Dairy Maids? Maids Farm. Pub? Pub thing. Dinner, we'll show you when we get lunch. there. We're gonna go for lunch. Okay, so this is Ariton Barnes. Is that how you say it? Sure. Shipwreck Centre, and this is where the pub is. Dairyman's Daughter Pub. Oh, Farmer Jack's Farm Shop. Oh. It's a farm shop as well. I do love a farm shop. Busy, oh, busy. this looks so cute. I'm excited for this. Let's get a photo. Oh, it's massive here. There's loads of stuff. There's loads of stuff to do. Oh my god. Proper old school. Oh wow. This is amazing. Oh wow, this is fun. So this is the menu and there's loads on here. We're doing all day breakfast as well. Um, we had so many people recommend this as well. Lots, yeah. And also it's like completely booked out as well. All the tables have got reserved on them. Um, we can be here because it's only 12.30, but all of them are booked out. It's nice, isn't it? Really nice. Ambiance. Should we get some garlic mushrooms yeah. to start? And then I can't decide. I think I want to try the fisherman's pie. That sounds, sounds, so, it sounds right up your alley. It does sound like something I'd like. All right, we've got garlic mushrooms to start, and this smells and looks you can amazing. See garlic in it. Oh, I wonder if it's come from our garlic farm. I was that. Probably. Oh my word. Oh, Benji's got the gourmet burger, which looks insane. Mm. Chunky and chips, I and he saved his garlic sauce. <laughs> the oh. chips, and I've got the fisherman's pie. I think this is going to fill me up for the rest of the day, and I can't I'm wait. Fill you up for the rest of the week. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can you hear the music as well? I'm watching the Wallace and Gromit then. Da da da! 
garlic mushrooms were a strong 10 out of 10. Delicious. And then my fish pie has been amazing. 9 out of 10. It only loses a star because it was so hot that it was quite hard to eat. But it was amazing. It had like corn, um, some sort of white fish and a really lovely creamy mashed potato on the top as well. Oh, there was salmon in there as well. Yeah, it was really good. I'm gonna let our food go down and then we will go for a little mooch. Here's the band we could hear that we're playing outside. Isn't this lovely? Everyone's just sat outside in the sunshine. Isn't that nice? <laughs> this is a little bit creepy, Benj. What is that? And I don't like, yeah. I don't know, thank you. No, I'm stuck. No, no, I'm good, thank you. No, no, thank you. No. <laughs> oh. That's a shame. Alright, we're going again. Really disappointing. Right. We're leaving now. <laughs> I didn't see they had this one. I always went on this one. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah, but how old are they? They've probably been in there like 20 years. <laughs> Gone off. Mini eggs. <laughs> What'd you buy? Sweet baby rays. I've heard of it. I don't know why. It's really annoying. Oh, when's the day still? <laughs> Honey barbecue sauce. I think maybe we had it in America. Did we? Maybe. Oh, I'm gonna try it anyway. So we've been around all these little shops. Is this it then? I picked up this really soft scarf blanket <laughs> that I'm gonna take on the plane with me to Italy and use as a scarf through the winter. But now we're heading back to Yarmouth, so. We've got about a 30 minute drive, yeah? Yeah, roughly. So that's the beeping of the parking sensor. So we've arrived at the ferry port in Yarmouth and I was just telling Benji that I have had many, many memories here in this harbour at this marina. So my family have one of these boats. They're basically, it's called a rib. And we would go from here back to Christchurch. We'd moor up our boat here and then climb over and then go to a pub just round the back there. You're tired, aren't you? Mm. Yeah, me too. It's half two and we don't leave until 20 past three, but I'm, I, they'll probably put us on at three-ish. He's got to drive in a minute. <laughs> right, we're in. We're gonna go upstairs. And, wait, hang on, where's the door? We've just got home, it is five o'clock and we are going to have showers and get in our PJs and get into bed because we're knackered. But we've had the most amazing weekend away. It was so sweet, we really enjoyed everything. And like I said, there's so much to do on the Isle of Wight. So if you're interested in checking out Host Seasons, they have so many different locations all over the UK. I'll leave them linked below. And if you wanted to check out our pictures, come and follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching, bye.